Good morning. We drove last night to Monteverde and this morning we have come somewhere very exciting. We have. We have arrived at the sloth sanctuary. So we're hopefully going to see some sloths today. Mm -hmm. There's also a butterfly house and this whole place is in a nature reserve. So I'm really excited to get a tour. We just mm -hmm. met our tour guide and we're about to head in. See some sloths. <laughs> There's two types of species in Costa Rica, we just learned. One that has two fingers on its hands and one that has three. This one and all the ones up here, because we're more in the north, they all are the two-fingered ones. And the three-fingered three ones? No, two-fingered. Those are its legs, that's what he was saying. So the uh, legs will have three fingers, but the hands will have two fingers like this. And he said all the ones in here are just in here for rehabilitation. So whether they've had an accident or anything that's happened, they're just in here for a little bit until they can go back out uh, to the wild. Sadly, this sloth had an accident with an electricity cable in town. That's why its feet are swollen. So they've put it in this more protective area to recover. Where's he going? Oh. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? Get it. Get it. How cool is this, Raya? I just can't believe how close we are. It's amazing. So they have salads in the morning, and in the afternoon they have potato, carrot, and eggs, I think he said. Oh yeah, get it. <laughs> this is amazing. These sloths are so cute. <laughs> So apparently the tendons and the legs can hold them up for hours just hanging. So he's just hanging there, gorging himself in salad. Most of the sloths here take between six months and a year to fully recover before they can be released. And yesterday he said they released two of them into the local forest. So our guide was just telling me about Lupita, which is a sloth over here. And she was actually rescued as she was a pet in someone's home. So she can never be released in the wild because she doesn't know how to survive in the wild. But she's going to spend the rest of her life in here. She's about 20 years old now. And he said in the wild they live to about 20 to 25. But if they're safe somewhere inside, then they can live up to like 30 or 40 years old. So hopefully she'll live for a, lot, a while longer. And I asked if that was a big problem, like having sloths as pets. Um, he said it used to be in the past, but the government's gotten really strict and now it's, it doesn't really happen anymore, which is really good. Yeah. Obviously sloths are well known for being incredibly slow. And we just heard that not only do they move slow, but they digest really slow. It takes a week to digest a leaf, so if they eat a leaf today, they poop it out in a week. <laughs> it's hilarious. So the name of this place where the sloth sanctuary is, is Selvatora Adventure Park. And they have a bunch of like zip lines and aerial walkways and the sloth sanctuary and also a butterfly house and a reptile house which we're going to head to now. We enjoyed seeing the sloth so much that we're going to head there. The tickets to do everything are kind of expensive but I think it's cool because obviously all of that money is going into 
supporting this, maintaining everything. So um, yeah, highly recommend already from just seeing the sloths, epic. So yeah, I think, ooh, we're arriving at the reptile house now. This would not have been my first choice, but since I'm living in Costa Rica, I know I have to get used to seeing things and not being scared of them. So. But it looks like they're all in tanks, so. Yeah, obviously, they're not gonna do like all over yet. <laughs> so this is the Ferda Lance. It's not the most venomous, but the most deadly because it's aggressive. So the most deaths per year from snakes is this guy. So we need to watch out. And guess who lives in our region where we're gonna be living? Yeah, they, they've already spotted these snakes on our property. It's okay. <laughs> okay. I'll make friends with them. This is the pretty song yet. So this is what some of these tree vipers eat and they're brightly coloured so they can attract hummingbirds who think they're flowers and when they come near, oh, they eat them. This is the coral snake, this is the venomous variety. This guy can run on water. And he's known as Jesus Christ Lizard. That's a leopard frog. It's a red eye tree frog and it's stuck to the glass and it looks crazy. Those orange things are all its toes like squished up. And then if you look from the other side, it almost looks like a leaf. This is the biggest frog in Costa Rica. <laughs> Absolutely huge. In the Costa Rica vlog to tell you about today's sponsor, Agency. Agency is personalized prescription skincare made for you by a dermatology provider. A few months ago, I took the skin quiz, sent photos of my skin, and got a custom Agency formula and have been using it since. I've noticed a big difference in my skin since I started using it, and I've shared a bit about my skin journey on this channel and a lot more on my own channel, but it's been a struggle and for years I spent so much money on different skincare products that other people recommended. And the difference is that these products are truly personalized to me and what I need. The formulas are prescribed by a licensed dermatology provider and there are regular check-ins to make sure that it's still working for your skin and can be adjusted if necessary. I use two products, a future formula and a dark spot formula, and they are designed to work together if you're prescribed to both. Your agency provider handpicks four active ingredients to help treat your concerns. A couple of the ingredients in my custom formula are azelaic acid, niacinamide, kojic acid, and hydrocortisone. I love that all the products are vegan and cruelty free. By the way, the future formula is only applied at night. I showed myself applying it in the daytime just to show you in the light what it looks like, but just so you know, this one's only for night. The biggest difference I've noticed in my skin is that for years I've pretty much always had at least one active breakout on my skin and ever since using this that has definitely decreased and sometimes I'll go like a week or two without any active breakouts which was honestly unheard of before and I do have quite a few dark spots still left over from all my breakouts but that's why I'm loving using the dark spot formula which I definitely have noticed has been lightening up some of my dark spots. So obviously the products that I'm using are unique to me and my needs but if you want to try out agency products I would very highly recommend it and you can get your first First month free you just have to pay $4.95 for shipping and handling there's a link in the description down below so check it out and let me know what you think of it and let's get back to the vlog where are we heading now the butterfly garden so I just asked how long butterflies live for and they can live from one day up to like some species up to like seven or eight months maybe a year even but the male butterflies die as soon as they've mated and some of them will mate the, the day they're born. So yeah, that's kind of crazy. I've made a friend. Wow, I love that one. Why it's in your in your body? Why is the reason? It's warm. No? It's I don't know. <laughs> you guess? 
Dark. It's sweaty. Exactly. <laughs> Salt. You found some. Okay, that's that's the idea. Does it look cool? Yeah. Wow, it's tiny. Oh, it tickles so much. Sia would be freaking out yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> they don't see colors. They don't? No. Wow, so how do they find flowers? In their legs, they got a glam, like a, like a nose. Wow. I've made a friend. He's, uh, he's coming with us. He's enjoying my salty skin. No, it tickles. I'm regretting showering. Because <laughs> <laughs> none of them are landing on me, but Louie's got a lot of sun. Yeah. <laughs> So there's a tip, if you come into the butterfly house, get sweaty, they're going to love you. <gasps> look at these ones, they have like gold, like a layer of gold. Wow. They look like a jade stone. Stay in here for hours playing with butterflies. Wow. <laughs> I can feel it licking my neck. Wow. They love you. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> what did you just spot, Raya? Look. What? How did he not? Tell us about this. No way. Oh my gosh, I love it. Check out these gold cocoons. Oh yeah, all these at the top. Wow. Getting up. Oh. <laughs> and this one. <laughs> and this one. Come on. Yeah, there you go. He's off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my friend Sia is terrified of butterflies. If you're watching this here, this probably would be your worst nightmare, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. So we've finished seeing all the animals and we've grabbed some lunch. This is a typical Costa Rican meal. What have we got? Beans, rice, tortilla, vegetables, plantain and salad. Fresh avocado. Also, we are kind of chilly because in Monteverde it's a lot higher up, it's a cloud forest and the temperatures are lower so we've both put our shoes on stay warm. So we have decided tonight we're going to stay in this little guest house in Monteverde. So we've parked up the 4x4 and the views here are stunning. Firstly we're just surrounded by nature, the sun is out and there's just rolling mountains all the way to the coast. In the ocean you can see. So good here and the climate's great isn't it? Oh yeah, it doesn't feel too humid at all. Like for the first time, I feel like in weeks we're just not sweating the whole time. Yeah. So nice. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. <sighs> I'm 
about to show you a spider, so if you don't like spiders, close your eyes for a few seconds. Check this out, this is a tarantula, just chilling outside the house. This is the host for where we're staying. Oh my gosh, these grapefruits are ridiculous. She's getting one. Oh, perfect. She's gonna give us some grapefruit. She picked some bananas for us over there. This is Linda, the cat. Hey, Linda. How are the bananas? So good. They're so different from store-bought. They're like yeah. thicker. I don't know how to describe it, denser. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Uh, ¿Cómo te llamas? Senia. 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 Sí. La mamá de Manuel. I'm going to taste the, the grapefruit. Hmm. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Muy ácido. Muy ácido. Muy ácido. <laughs> Senior's showing us her farm. Wow. Chilies. Suki. Oh yeah. Zucchini. Look at wow. that bad boy. Sí. Es es muy rico. Sí. What's that para, basil? Para las pastas. Mm. What is that? It's like a basil. Oh nice. Uh, wow, let's use that in our cooking tonight. Definitely, yeah. She said it's rainy season, so there's not that much growing, but in December, she said, she's like, mucho, mucho, and that um, she doesn't have to go to the supermarket because there's so much stuff. Wow. I think she's gonna cut us some sugar cane. Yeah. This is goals. This is garden goals. Bananas, sugar cane. We can have a garden this size. Yeah, I think we can allocate this much. Okay. Yeah, you want a piece? Sure. So you don't swallow, right? You just mm -mm. chew the yeah. fibers. Oh, so good. Okay, let's give this a taste. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so almost sweet. like watermelon. Sweet, obviously mm -hmm. sweeter, but it kind of tastes the same. Mm. These are plantains. It's a Samoy baby. <laughs> baby plantains. <laughs> and then these over here are bananas. Coffee. Cuando está rojo, this. Maybe we can grow coffee. Yeah. They said when it turns red, then you can pick it. The coffee I've been drinking this morning, and I've actually put another pot on, was grown on this land. She said they never buy coffee. This is so inspiring. I didn't realize I'd be able to grow my own coffee. This is a mango tree. Well, she's saying the monkeys eat the mangoes. Yeah. <laughs> this mango tree is only eight years old. Check it out. It's huge. Guys, look at this crazy animal. It's like a monkey, raccoon, and fox mixed together. It's called a coyote. 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 Yeah. He's gonna get a banana so we can feed it. Oh my gosh. And apparently him and Linda are friends and they hang out. Like she's what? looking for him. Linda? Is that your friend Linda? You want this banana? This is how I also feel about bananas. I freaking love them. Oh my gosh. That is an incredible sunset.